Medicare and Medicaid before I let you go. You have a couple more minutes before we wrap up. Uh, uh, Brad, I don't know what you just. I just got to note that we're, we're voting on the floor now. Oh, okay, then I'll let you go. I, I want. Well, no, I walked to the floor quickly, so I've got enough tickets. Okay, let's quickly. Bob in Culver City, and thank you, Congressman. We appreciate your being with us very much. John okay. Campbell with us from Orange County. Okay, yeah, I'm a little ways away. So I, I, un- I understand. We'll let you uh, catch that uh, train over there for your vote. Bob in Culver City, you're on Air Talk. Hey, uh, you know, initially I was going to talk about Medicare and Medicaid, but we have the lowest tax rate in, in 70 years in this country, and for 30 years we've been cutting taxes on the upper end, and it was supposed to give us jobs, and look where we are. It hasn't worked. Well, you don't know that because you don't know what the, you, you, you can't say that, Bob, because you don't know what the opposite would be if we had higher taxes. There are those who'd argue we could be in worse shape than we are right now, so that's, it, it's, you only get one side of it based on what will actually happen with tax policy. But well, Bob, you want... Let me support the, the caller in that this. Under the Clinton tax laws, we had a better economy than under the Bush tax laws. And the proposal for uh, that the Republicans are making is, let's use the exact same statutes that we've had since uh, June of 2001. Since June of 2001, we've seen a dramatic decline of employment in this country, a dramatic decline in the median income of, of middle class families. So the statutes we've had uh, since June 2001 have not served us well. Well, and that and may the be all... we had in the 90s uh, worked a lot better. That may be all the result of tax policy. It may be partially the result of tax policy. It may have very little to do. We, I mean, we, without having hermetically sealed ways of doing a, you know, a test of both ends of that, we really don't know because there are a lot of variables, right? There are, um, uh, and, and so uh, it's, it's not a, uh, it's certainly not a, a, a proven argument. It's just... If you have to see what has been successful, it's correlative. Uh, yes, the, 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 the '90s uh, worked a little better for us than the last. Decade. Okay, I thought Bob was going to talk about Medicare and, and Medicaid, which was his original intent. So, what does the proposal from the bipartisan commission say about? Um, on uh, they, they have on ways of cutting the costs of limit, Medicare. They, they want to limit the annual cost increases for Medicare and Medicaid, uh, but they have. Uh, no particular way of achieving that. Um, you either have to tell the doctors they'll get paid less per operation, or you have to tell the patients they can't have the operation. 